edition of Open Heavens Reflections based on daily devotional written by Pastor Ia Dibwe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Boeke Christian Atolani and I'm a pastor with Christ of Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Our topic is a word to the lazy and Bible passage is taken from Proverbs chapter 6 from 4 to 11. Give no sleep to your eyes, no slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. Go to the ant, you stop it. Consider her ways and be wise. Which have no captain, overseer or ruler, provides her supplies in the summer, and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you slumber, O sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall your poverty come on you like a prowler and need like an ant man. Memory verse 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 10. For even when you were with you, we commanded you this if anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. Our reflection. The message to the lazy and idle people speaks to uh, many of us today. A quick check will reveal to us that we are soon coming to the end of the first quarter of the year. Unknown to us, the year is developing its wings again and flying into oblivion. A moment of truth, what have you achieved this year? Are you going to allow the year and all the opportunities that it bears to slip off your hands? I pray it will not be so in the name of Jesus. Have you planned your grandiose things to do this year which are failing to take off due to procrastination or you are waiting for some conditions, precedent to start that project, for example, a loan from the bank or help from somebody who has promised you a large amount of money? You can be wise by starting something with the little resources available to you at the moment. You don't have to start very big. Or you, or you are one of those who are waiting for the cloud to gather before you start to sow, that is recipe for poverty and hunger in the future. So it is God who brings the rain of increase. So put your trust in the Lord and he will bring his rain of increase upon your endeavor in Jesus' name. Another evil that we might have to deal with uh, when we talk about laziness is procrastination. This is when we always want to do what we're supposed to do today by tomorrow. That is very dangerous because tomorrow never comes. You might be praying for God to help you and change your situation, but sleeping back in the church or prayer without action does not add anything to your productivity. So if you pray forever for blessing without putting your productive efforts into something, it is sheer waste of time. Sometimes we wonder why those who are endowed already always get more. It is because God can only bless the work of your hand. When there is nothing to bless, then it becomes impossible for God to do anything about it. Finally, time waits for no one. So be wise, challenge yourself, and make sure you are always productive and not lazy. Our key point. For God to use you, you must be productively engaged. And I pray that as the year rolls by, uh, the good Lord will make you to be productive in Jesus' name. And may the Lord also prosper the works of your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and do have a wonderful day. Bye for now.